Hello and everyone, welcome to the 2021 Total Energies Thomas and Yuba Cup Finals. The World Championship for men's and women's team. Beautiful pictures here of um, the uh, city of Aarhus, second largest uh, city in Denmark. The uh, Thomas and Yuba Cup, which consists of uh, 16 teams from all around the globe. All five continents represented, represented in uh, the tournament. We are in um, Aarhus, second largest city in the nation, in the uh, magnificent Ceres Arena, uh, very close to the uh, city center of Aarhus. Here is the uh, tournament schedule. The tournament is divided in two stages, a group stage for the first five days and then we continue with uh, a knockout draw for the quarterfinals and all the way to the final of the Thomas Cup on uh, Sunday. The uh, tournament uh, format is uh, 16 teams in uh, groups of four. Here we have the uh, Uber Cup groups that we're going to focus our attention on in this uh, afternoon session here in uh, Denmark. We're going to focus our attention on uh, Group D and um, in Group D it's uh, China that is a uh, seeded nation there, seeded second behind Japan and Thailand and Korea in Group B and C is uh, seeded uh, third and fourth. So each group is around Robin format where all teams play each other and um, here on uh, court 2 previously today the two other teams in uh, Group B, China and Canada battled it out and um, it was a convincing uh, victory uh, for China just as expected um, they seem to be the um, clear favorites in uh, this group but um, now focus on uh, the remaining two teams the home nation Denmark up against uh, a young team from Malaysia. So, the um, early matches on court one is uh, still ongoing as we have some uh, beautiful aerial pictures here of uh, Sarah's Park with uh, Sarah's Arena in the, the middle of the picture and we have the uh, football stadium all situated in uh, the Mercedes Forest here close to uh, Aarhus. It's also a horse racing uh, track and uh, just now we can see that uh, Thailand in uh, one of the early matches in the Thomas Cup tournament has defeated uh, Chinese Taipei with the Olympic gold medalist in uh, Double. So uh, we're ready for uh, the players to march on here in the uh, team tie between Denmark and uh, Malaysia. I think we'll uh, revert to the uh, order of play later, but here is the uh, skipper of Denmark, Mia Blickfeld, marching on to uh, court. Blickfeld, who also uh, played. Uh, a week ago in um, Vanta in Finland for the uh, World Mixed Team Championship and uh, seemed to be in really good shape, uh, put a lot of pressure on uh, Chen Fei, the Olympic champion from China in a match they played there at the uh, quarterfinal stage. So uh, here is uh, her opponent, Selva Durai Kisuna from uh, Malaysia. Uh, in the matchup, uh, Denmark and Malaysia. They've uh, this is the seventh meeting in the uh, Uber Cup, and uh, so far Denmark is uh, leading 5-1 uh, when uh, playing Malaysia. What's kind of cross? Black or red? Red. Black for you. So, your no choice. Pages. Head right to side head serves or receiving? As uh, Mia Blickford wins the uh, coin toss and elects to start on the uh, far side of the court. 
So the uh, format in the team tie and the order of play is here. We can see uh, the first women's singles, then on to women's doubles, where Forgo and Tusen are taking on the scratch pair of Li Yang and um, Tina Muralitran from uh, Malaysia. This withdrawal from uh, Tina's normal partner. The second women's singles feature the former world junior silver medalist Lina Christofferson up against Yung Chi Xuan. Second women's doubles, the battle of the teenagers, and then the experienced Lina Kersfeld up against the youngster Karo Patawan Lechana from Malaysia. Players already started uh, warming up, and um, in the picture, Mia Blickfeld, who uh, won the uh, European Games gold medal back in 2019 in Minsk. She's born in uh, Solva in uh, Denmark and is currently just one short of her previous highest ranking. Getting uh, experienced in these uh, situations and uh, was uh, playing the first Olympics in uh, August in um, Tokyo, won her group stage then, but um, lost out to PV Sindhu, the later bronze medalist. Selva Durai Kisona is um, 23 years of age, celebrated her birthday in uh, Banta during the uh, Sudiaman Cup. She's uh, from uh, Seremban, 70 uh, kilometers south of um, Kuala Lumpur. And um, she won the uh, 2019 Sea Games gold medal. And uh, that was sort of her breakthrough to uh, the international scene. Malaysia um, was represented by Sonia Chia at the uh, Olympics, but she's um, an independent player now. Here we have uh, Lalia from uh, Indonesia, a service judge, and Gunas Las Veres from Latvia is uh, our umpire for this match. So Sonia Chia, the highest ranked uh, Malaysian singles player, not um, selected for the team. Difficult for the independent players to um, get enough practice in uh, in Malaysia here during um, the lockdown, and also um, the uh, former world junior champion Go Jin Wei, who incidentally beat Denmark's second women single Lena Christofferson in that final, uh, is not here as um, she has um, retired, unfortunately, due to. Uh, health issues. She's retired from international badminton. So, um, an inexperienced uh, Malaysian team where uh, it looks like Denmark is uh, the favourites. Here is uh, some of the uh, teammates of uh, Mia Blickfeld ready to uh, support her in this uh, very important first match of uh, the team tie. So, and on the left, with the Malaysia, represented by Kisana Salvadurai. Denmark to serve. Level. Play. Blickfeld with the advantage or burden of uh, playing on home soil. It all depends on how the match goes, how players perceive it. So, a so good start there from. Uh, Kisuna. One love. So far, six international titles um, under her belt, all won at uh, the um, international challenge or series level, which is uh, the level below the world tour. Oh, that's well played. Great accuracy from uh, the Malaysian.
Whereas um, Blitfeld has one World Tour title. She actually has um, two World Tour titles. One in um, Spain, Super 300 in 2019. And uh, the same year she also won the Dutch Super 100. All in all, nine titles from uh, 13 finals. So clearly a bit more experienced than uh, her opponent. But um, probably also a little bit extra tense here on uh, on home soil. The first time ever that um, Thomas and Uber Cup have been staged um, in Europe in the same venue. Oi, oi, oi. She's indeed very nervous, I think. Great defense from uh, Kisuna, but uh, you see there's some big gobs of air from uh, Mia Blickfeld. Call wide. And uh, no challenge from uh, Mia Blickfeld. Even though this is court two, there is still the uh, instant review system, the Hawkeye possibility each player has um, two challenges or actually they have as many challenges as they get right but they can only be wrong twice per game if they've been wrong twice then there's no more challenges in that game really really good start for uh, Kisuna and interesting to see the uh, right shoulder here of uh, Mia Blickford with some uh, strapping on Reception from uh, Kisuna. Gone wrong. Okay. And she just wants the uh, court to be uh, marked. And I mentioned that. Um, Kisuna has six titles overall. She's actually coming just off a win if you don't count last week's uh, Sudiman Cup, which was a uh, team event. Um, she won the Spanish International, beating Go Jianwei, her now retired um, teammate. Time shot uh, in the middle of the uh, net there. Yeah, good shot. Excellent placement down the line there. With some margin. Eight, three. Excellent technical skills uh, has Kisuna. It's obvious from the strapping on her, both her legs and the uh, knee braces and so on that she's struggling with. Um, strength so to speak um, so Bigfoot can put her under some pressure and uh, perhaps play force the Malaysian to play from a more defensive um, perspective then um, there's some um, openings there will be some openings for the Dane
the check. Seems like the uh, most relaxed shot so far from uh, from Pickfield. He's appeared very, very uh, nervous here in the beginning of the match, but uh, seems to be easing up a little bit now. That's well played. Good little deception, keeping it straight. Then uh, coach Jesper Hogo here must be a little bit more satisfied, and no doubt uh, Blickfeld has also gained confidence. Good deception, that's gone wide. A little hold and flick by uh, Blickfeld in the uh, forehand corner there. Steals time from uh, Salvadurai Kisona. Pretty much what uh, badminton is about, stealing time from your opponent. If you keep stealing more and more, eventually bad shots or errors will uh, follow. seven consecutive points now since being down 3-8 so definitely a turn of events here in the, the first women's single Kisuna means that um, after a run of eight straight points, Mia Blickfeld is in the lead here at the mid-game interval, 11-8. Coaching opportunity for Denmark and Malaysia here as um, the two players have uh, no previous meeting and uh, one of the things that uh, Jesper Hoko emphasized was that uh, all the good things start when uh, Blickfeld puts uh, Kisuna under pressure on the back court. I felt that was uh, what helped her take over the uh, momentum in uh, this first game of the first match here in the tie between Denmark and Malaysia. Wait, that's a good little shot. Missed it at the net. Wow. Ten straight points for uh, Mia Blickfeld. She, she 
basically uh, done everything she should, um, Kisuna, but I think she wanted to win on this one, and that's why it um, stayed on her own side. She overdid it simply. And that's also the um, the speed of uh, Blickfeld. She was on her way to retrieve that next shot, so that puts some mental pressure on your opponent. So, so the run of 10 straight points come to an end as uh, Nine, that is uh, on the line from uh, Kisuna. Blickfeld round the court was uh, Kisuna. There was the weak reply from Blickfeld who did not at all um, have the correct length, but um, also a very, very well placed smash from uh, Kisuna. on the uh, back call there from Blickfeld. It's gone wide. Well intercepted. There's a challenge from Blickfeld. Mia Blitzfeld challenges called out. First challenge of um, the match. It looked wide, but I uh, wouldn't totally rule out that he could have just caught the outer part of the line. Is very good challenge. She was right. Oh, that's more play. Good defense by Kisuna. Clever shot, shot by Blitfeld uh, there. Just getting it below the tape without too much pace. Forcing uh, Kisuna to uh, yeah. judge the speed herself, <laughs> and <laughs> outside the picture, the uh, mopper comes on court, and uh, Kisuna was actually uh, in the stands waiting to receive the service from uh, Blickfeld. Ten. Deception. Eleven 
18. was there ready to uh, pounce on it had it uh, stayed inside the line 1911 Chosen control over the first game and um, deservedly uh, won it. 21 11. And as the players head for the uh, two minute interval between the games. of uh, noise and music here in the um, arena so I wasn't really able to uh, listen in on uh, the Danish uh, coaching there between Blickfeld and uh, Hogo but uh, I suspect that uh, Jesper Hogo as well as the lady in the picture here yeah, Blickfeld is quite satisfied with the first game that's a good one. The second part of it, 18-3, and uh, it was also what uh, the world ranking indicated. Uh, Blickfeld, 12th on the uh, world ranking, whilst Kisuna is uh, 53rd. So, um, in many ways, logical that uh, when the nerves left Blickfeld, she would uh, take over the uh, initiative. Clear battle. And what we're seeing now is the result of the feeling that Kisuna has at the moment that she has to play really, really sharp to um, get control over the rallies. And um, sometimes it's possible, but most of the times we tend to uh, create errors by. Uh, Pushing it a little bit too much. Good little deception you can see. He's from last leg, we're just making a little bit of an extra step and um, that cost time, so very well played by the Dane here. Yeah. 
audience here in the Sears Arena. Of course, uh, happy with the development in this match so far. Thank you. Later tonight, the, the Danish men are playing their first uh, Thomas Cup tie against uh, France. So, a good day to uh, come and enjoy. World class badminton here in uh, Aarhus. There's a string gone in her racket. She's gone to a kit box to, uh, I don't know, yeah, to get in her racket. I think the string gone. So, unable to uh, fully control the uh, shots. Huge team of uh, stringers um, located in between the uh, main hall here and the uh, practice arena, making sure that uh, the players have sufficient have, uh, new rackets, sufficient supply of uh, fresh rackets whenever a string is uh, broken. The most players they. Uh, Cut it entirely so that uh, the frame will get uh, contorted and uh, then a new uh, stringing is uh, needed and uh, that's what the uh, designated stringers are doing. Yeah, the Malaysian team. Some of them present in Finland where they uh, a bronze medal at the Suleiman Cup, very encouraging for Malaysia and then they've been joined by uh, some of their teammates directly from uh, KL. Oi oi oi, what a fantastic deception by uh, Mia Blickfeld. She set it up with uh, some good shots, look at it. Body and uh, arm is showing that it's towards the right side of the court, but um, the racket then puts it left. to take away from this match by um, Selva Durai Kizuna and that is that she needs to get physically stronger otherwise um, this level here is unattainable um, she does her very very best but um, at the moment, Blickfeld is all over the place and uh, got lots Nine, of uh, confidence. One. So, um, they're just um, at a different level as the rankings um, suggest. It's gone wrong. It's gone, it's gone wrong. Two, nine. If we look at the team match overall, the way I see it, Denmark is the favorite, the clear favorite in the uh, three women single and um, doubles matches. Could perhaps get a little bit closer, but Malaysia is without Pearly Tan in the uh, first women's double. So, uh, how will the scratch pair uh, do? We can see that match next after the women's single here and then. Um, Second win with doubles is um, a battle between two very young pairings as uh, the net court is with uh, Mia Blickfeld here and she's at a commanding nine point lead as we head to the uh, mid game interval here in the second game, one game up for Mia Blickfeld.
something about um, small deception is very very good um, on the front court and um, there's also something when, he, when Bigfoot reaches it um, very high on the front court um, I interpreted so that she could easily uh, put a bit more pressure on when she was really high on it oh that's well played it's cold wide Bigfoot challenges Turns around herself once and then challenges. And another successful challenge. And one as well in the, the first game. All out, uh, Mia Blickfeld. And so is Kisuna, of course, because um, she's doing everything she can to uh, follow suit. But that's just a really, really beautiful reverse slice by uh, Mia Blickfeld. One of the most difficult shots in uh, badminton. Perfectly. Different pace, Bigfoot moving faster than uh, her opponent, considerably faster, and uh, it just makes it seem easy. Indoor Jaya, the Indonesian dawn coach for the uh, Malaysian women singles. They've also stated, uh, Malaysia, that it is more or less a uh, development focus that uh, the team have here. But uh, of course, when they're here, they want to go for a quarterfinal berth at least. And to do that, they need to win. They need to win this uh, team tie here. They reached the quarterfinals on uh, four occasions and that's so far the best performance by uh, Malaysia in uh, Yuba Cup. And that's well played by uh, Kisuna. Last time Malaysia reached the uh, quarterfinals back in uh, 2010. The first time they did it was back in 1975. Denmark Number one, Uber Cup, but uh, three times in the final. 57, 16, and in uh, 
from Tennessee. So this match here against Malaysia is um, this team tie Thank against you. Malaysia. Look at that little deception there. Yeah, like Seventeen points. Thanks. Look at look at this team tie as the uh, key. I don't really believe they can uh, challenge China, but uh, in order to progress to the quarterfinal, they felt that they needed to beat Seven Malaysia. Over. Was um, Six, was a close match, but when they saw that they were without Sonia Chia and um, Go Jin Wei, things looked brighter. And then today, as uh, Holy Tan is not here either, then uh, I think the Danes got confidence that they can win this match. Missed that. Seven, seventy, Jesper Hogan, the coach here, former assistant coach in uh, France, and uh, now responsible for both women's single and uh, women's double in the uh, Danish National uh, Center in Brunswick. which is uh, 13 match points, lots of support from uh, the audience here in CS Arena. The first time of asking, the Blickfeld puts uh, the Danes up in the uh, team tie. Again, that little hold and flick. And then alert on the front court. And the job well done and uh, gets deserved applause from uh, the Danish fans here in the arena. I spot some um, Malaysian fans as well with um, signs. But I um, had little to cheer for here as we have confirmation of um, the score. 21-11, 21-7 in uh, 31 minutes of play. So the expected uh, victory for Denmark in the uh, first women's single. And uh, next match up here in uh, Aarhus is the first women's doubles. That's after a short break. Double between Fogo Tusen and Lee and Tina.
beautiful aerial pictures of um, Sears Arena. We're inside that oval there, and uh, as uh, you might have seen, the yeah, Brick Firm put uh, Denmark 1 0 up in the overall team tie as we now turn our attention to women's double.